Okay, I'm calling the uh, Open Space Committee meeting to order. It's and it's five past two on March 12th, 2024. And we are being videoed. All right. Has everybody seen the minutes from the last meeting? Yes. Corrections? I entertain a motion to accept. Mm -hmm. Second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. Okay. And it's from the February 27th, 24 meeting is approved. Okay. All right, next is. Keaton property follow-up. I guess the sign isn't made. I saw language between a few people and um, it's not yet made. <laughs> so Jen is looking for maybe Blackstone Valley Tech or Eagle Scouts or somebody else to make it. I thought it was made, but the supervisor that is no longer there said he was going to try to slip it in. Mm -hmm. I guess he didn't. So that's too bad. <coughs> well, we have time. Uh, no place to put it right now. All right. So. Yeah. We'll probably get lost if we stuck it somewhere. Yep. Any updates on the funding for? Well, I did, you know, I had talked to Matt after the last meeting, and um, he said that uh, he, that it was, that he had put it onto the, um, onto the warrant for the town meeting in May. For that, for the $5,000, you mm -hmm. know, but yet, you know, we still want to ask for money. That's okay. Didn't miss much. We okayed the minutes. Yep. Last minute, that's it. Let me double check on that. Yep. We'll just put that on hold as a until after the town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. They're always interesting. <laughs> um, I'll send him an email to let him know that it's going to be on the warrant for the main meeting. Okay. So that'll be a, at that point it'll be a yay and a. Yeah. Just so. Right. They'll have an idea. Of whether we're in the be. loop. Yeah. Okay. Andy, I think is the Andy. Yep. Conservation works. Community Preservation Act follow-up. Okay, we did contact all of the people, all the boards that are required to be on, have a member to be on that committee, but um, I have only heard um, from, I haven't directly heard, but um, I've heard that uh, to the Conservation and planning both want to know more about what they're required to do and things like that. So I guess I could go to a meeting and hype it up for them.
Thanks. Yeah. Okay, we're at, we discuss the Keegan property. And basically, we said we're kind of on hold till the town meeting to find out if we get the money or not. And then we'll follow up with Andy to tell him whether we get it or not. But um, we also have to run this by conservation. So I suggest that we get on their agenda for a meeting soon and at least share this information and make sure it's okay yeah. for us to or proceed with yeah. it on our own. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I was saying I need to the, as far as the next one, the Community Preservation Act, conservation wants to know more about that. So I was thinking I could attend a meeting. You're you're live at those meetings. <laughs> um, at least there's only two towns you go to. So, so you can add that to your list to go to yep. CONCOMS. Um, yeah, I was at one of those meetings. I think Planning Board also wants to know more. Right. Planning and Conservation are the two that want to know more about the, about the uh, Community <coughs> Preservation Act. So I think we also need to um, bring Matt Benoit up to speed because he said he couldn't really explain it to them when he was there. So if he is the planner and doesn't know what the Community Preservation Act can do for us, right, that's a problem. So maybe we can invite him to our next meeting and say, look, this is, this is what it can do for us. I don't know, I think we should just send him a copy and mm -hmm. have him read it. Rather than us explain. A copy of what, though? Just, I mean, just... Uh, the law? The, yeah. Or the, the act that we yeah, would yeah. adopt? Yeah. But then, it w you know, we have to, this com a committee has to decide at what percentage, right, that we're going to adopt it. At. Because mm -hmm. it is. Do you know what the local ones have, the, the percentage? I think Northbridge is one, one and a half percent, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and we can also invite um, like the uh, person from Menden, who's mm -hmm. done a lot with it. But they also have combined, well, you know, Anne, they have combined resources and CPA funds that they've done a lot with. I'm actually going to be in, at a meeting tonight there on the Menden Land Use Committee, so I can ask her. Yeah. No, she's she's offered, so yep. she'd be happy to. They've done. Yep. They did all the email or two. Either yeah. way, I can. The right. rework of the town hall, and then several parcels of land they've they've bought or used to match grant funds, and mm -hmm. they've really leveraged it yep. a lot. So. And Mazur. 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 Yeah. M-A-Z-A-R. Yeah. It's A-N-N-E. Right. <laughs> They're very particular about these. I just mm -hmm. read Hannah Green Gables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ask her for our, she'll see if she'll come for our next, to our next meeting. Or what do you want to do? What would be better to this? To this meeting, or to schedule a separate meeting? Probably separate meeting. That maybe we can recruit some people. Like Dick Skinner said, he wants to be involved. Did you see that? Jeez. Oh. Um, what on the website or? Yeah. The email. When did you send it? No, no. He sent it to the general to the open space email. Okay. Did anybody else see it? Why did I? Why am I the only one that got it? Well, I haven't gotten that website. Not on the website, it should be, if it's yeah, in the email, it should be right email. to me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh. I'm just, this happened the last time. It's like, why isn't yes. it just, right? Why isn't it just? We need to ask Chris. We just now need to automatically forward it to us. Chris? Then Chris uh -huh. does, the, does the website? Who does the website? John? 
He's a citizen. He does a lot of um, mm, like different things with historical, and yeah, okay. he's looked at the old grammar school and things like that. space at douglas-ma.gov. So he says, willing to help, and I have an ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. But he used to live in Menden, so that could be Ann. Okay. That he could be yeah. talking about. But it would be great if we invited him, you know, and, and made it more of, I guess, a like a kickoff meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Maybe that would work. to know any of the boards or anything like right. that. That, that would be rather than us going, going to them. them people. Yeah. We can even invite Matt. Yep. Yeah. Conservation and planning and where we want to know more. Yeah. All right. oh, we just got to figure out a, a date. But maybe just coordinate with Ann and then we can post it and we're off to the races. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Okay. Potential trail work assessment days. <coughs> so we were talking previous to meeting, <coughs> and this Saturday is seventy-five percent chance sun. Of sun. Of sun. Right. <laughs> What's a big percentage? Yep. So we're thinking we should do it then because the next one, who's way in advance, doesn't look so happy. Yeah. So what time? Um, any time, ten, nine thirty, ten. She yeah, asked, "I want time to do fine chores." And yep. A lot of good stuff. And meet at the. So it's, we thought, bring tools or I'll bring the waivers or something. Yeah. Well, this was this is our introduction meeting or, or the assessment. What, you know, we can do small stuff and then if there's. There is big stuff. There is big stuff. Yeah. And so maybe then do an assessment and say, like who could go? Who could go out the next weekend? And what tools? Do a tool inventory, or something like I don't know. What would you prefer? What, what is very likely to be just some light cleaning that needs to be done with lockers, and do that first, and assess for bigger stuff. Yeah, but I'm just saying the bigger mm -hmm. stuff is going to need. We could change, assess how much we. Size. Assess what we need to bring for the bigger stuff and hit head. No, no, not just as if we already, I already know we need Jane's eyes. Yeah, right. Um, those guys here, they've got the tools. I've got the tools. Mm -hmm. You certified chainsaw people. I am. Okay. I had to be, be to work on Douglas Air Force property because okay. I've got all the equipment. I have mm -hmm. to, and even Army right. Corps of Engineers, I needed to have all the equipment. But our volunteer waiver doesn't mm -hmm. require that. No. <coughs> the town didn't put that in the, into the specifications. But so that way, there you could break it up into groups. You could have people working on the smaller stuff away from the people mm -hmm. cleaning up mm -hmm. yeah. the big stuff. So, because you probably would want two people 
at each tree site that needs to be cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Right. That keeps everyone safely out of the way. Mm -hmm. And there's other stuff that can be done. Yeah, because if everyone shows up, there'll be 88 of us. And Thank you. Get spread out, yep. Right. If we wanted to reloc relocate that trail a little bit. So do we need permission to do that? That's, yeah, we, I think we need to contact Conservation Commission and find out what our limitations are as far as how close we can get to the brook or mm -hmm. I would think we can clean up any existing trails. So instead of the commission, I think it would be better if maybe if we made a list of questions and then talked to the agent. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take the commission's whole yep. meeting time, but let's talk to Brandon, who's the agent, and ask him, even if it's just via email, what can and can't we do for a trail cleanup? Pretty sure anything that's existing out there is not an issue. Yes. But where the existing trail is and moving it a little bit closer to the edge of this river, you're where the existing trail is, you're still within a hundred feet of the river, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, good question. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. It's like one hundred feet from wetlands and two hundred feet from rivers, though. Right? I think. Yeah, but the trails within. Yeah, it's it's like every like, you can't go anywhere without being in yeah. that zone, basically. <clears throat> There's a little upland, maybe that's it. Okay, I can do that. Or do you want to start a list of questions and then kick it out to all of us, and if we see anything we need to add, and then we can um, and we can send it to Brandon. Let's. So, one would be relocate, beginning of trail, let's have to send a map. And then the rest I don't think would be an issue because we're just existing. Trail. Existing. I'll give a good mm -hmm. If there are briars or if there's a deadfall, you just clean it, we're just cleaning up that so people can access the trail. But for later, it'd be nice to know if we could make a bridge over, a, you know, like everything that Andy proposed would have to go before. The, right. You know. Yeah. So also, yeah. So there wouldn't be any questions about exploring to make a trail over on the other side when we had that map that would, could do something there, but that would be just flagging it out. That wouldn't be any actual work on the ground. So we're just working, and we just we need the GPS, the other trail. Now that we know it's on, still on, on property. that property, yeah, okay. to see where that goes. Okay, so two questions for him. Is that? I think that covers it now. For right now, yeah. yeah. Just relocate, relocate the trail and existing maintenance, which should, should not be an issue, but. Yep. Just let him know. And the relocation wouldn't involve any digging or anything like that. It's just small brush, because it was all small stuff. Yeah, and, not, and we're not removing any biomass from the site. Right, just, just in place. Yeah. yeah. business. Um, I 
Yes, the, tonight the conservation is meeting, right? And is it planning? No, it's tonight. It's the board of select. Board of right select. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go. I'm going to go before them and explain chapter 97. Wait, wait, wait. So, did they can tonight is the is the um, fishing game. We wrote a letter to support. Okay, that's, yeah. Tonight, that's tonight. And then, did did you get confirmation that Castle Caves is on? Because Castle Caves are supposed to go to conservation first. Okay. But then I guess they voted to send it to the selectmen. But did I haven't seen the agenda, so. Well, the agenda doesn't say what articles they're going to talk about. I'll try to go get a copy. Um, so, but did we ever get communic? So we wrote a letter to the board about, we wrote a letter to the Conservation Commission mm -hmm. explaining Chapter 97 and what Castle Caves was about. Mm -hmm. Now, we did that on January 31st. Did we ever get communication from them? No. Because that's not right. I was told verbally, and then I just, you just hear stuff, and it's not no. I mean, we took the we took the time to write a letter. <coughs> so they're pretty far behind, but that doesn't mean we can just bump it. <laughs> No, they, the problem is that two seconds, two seconds. we were told, so I was told that they were bumping it up to the Board of Selectmen. But why weren't we as a committee told? So that's where I'm failing to understand. And so I will find out, I will go find out if it's on tonight, aside from the fishing game puzzle. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've yeah. got we've got this. We've got the fishing game, and then follow up as to why. Well, I can find that out later. As to why we're not getting responses, because I don't. You know, if the board votes to to do something, I don't think you have to wait for the minutes to come out and everything. You just like you do, Becky. You just we just write the letters and mm -hmm. get them out there. I looked on the website today. There is no <coughs> email address for the Conservation Commission. Contact for anybody. Not even for Jen? Community development? Uh, but you'd have there to know is that. there. You'd have to know that. Yeah, I wouldn't I would just I would figure the chair of the Conservation Commission there should have been a contact. It's or so you gotta send it to Jen, then she sends it to them? I mean, it was Tracy Sharkey. No, uh, it's Joe. The yes, now it's Joe's. Joe Fitzpatrick. Yes. yes. No, there should there should be something for every committee, every commission, every board. There should be some kind of contact. Like we have open space. I mean, I don't get it. That makes two of us. If, they, if there was an email contact, at least we could initiate emails back and forth. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> Beneficial. Hmm. So what I could do is I could take the letter Sue sent and I could send it and say, well, has there been a response to this letter? Because maybe Maybe we just didn't get it. And then I can also go and ask if this is on the um, agenda for tonight. Because it just says warrant articles, mm -hmm. I think, twice. So I don't get it. I don't know what that means. But we can wrap this up first if you want. Yeah. OK, other old business? Um, what about the, well, it was new business last time asking about um, becoming a modified committee. Oh, let me answer that, Matt. 
Yeah, that was, I, I talked to him about that, and he was surprised that we weren't. And he said, basically, as far as he's concerned, we have the same power as anybody else. But I don't think we're we're not legit in as far as the bylaws. Mm. So every word, you know, we're advisory when it comes to Chapter sixty one. So maybe it wouldn't change, but just from our status, I think it would be great to get rid of advisory. It would just improve our status. Uh, yeah. So we need to look at the bylaws. Uh, uh, um, so Matt, who else can we ask? I don't the administrator? Yep, that would be a golden top. Yeah. So that means we could put a stop or something like the that. Next. <laughs> <laughs> it's a regulatory. Well, we can find out what other towns, like Menden. Yeah. They have an open space that's really active. Oh, something else, but we could see what Menden's language is. Did we figure out the budget for just our operating budget? The 100. I think the, I think what happened was just because we exceeded it because of the whole, whole plan. The grant? Yeah. I don't know whether we exceeded that, but yeah, just certain things that we asked for just got thrown in there and paid for, and it went up to 300. So, of what we used. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I don't, so right now, the budget isn't finalized, but right now we're in there for $100 for annual operating? Yeah. Yeah. What would we like? Conservation again. Six million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so conservation that's, that's also gets there. fees, oh. you know, for permits and other things, and then it gets that's fines that. go into a fund and different things like that. Yeah. We, we get nothing, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing to work with. We should be able to, you know, with conservation, I would think we would be able to tap into their budget or we're sort of with them. Do we know what their budget is? No. Not at the moment. Should I go grab one of those books? <sighs> well, so ask for the money if we don't use it all? That's the thing. I mean, can't, can't goes back. That's what I. We, I was like, hmm, we could get another batch of maps printed, you know. But you lose the hundred dollars at the end of the year. You know, well, what would we need? I mean, besides, we have a specific project in the Keevan property trails. And that's a separate, that's a separate amount beyond our right. annual operating, month to month operating. Like here, what, what could we use? What could we need? Maps. But printing up a couple of those maps is, gets really expensive. Everybody uses the online version anyway, so. Tools for trailer work. Yeah, we could develop a budget for that, but if everybody just brings their own tools. Yeah. All right, well, let's think, let's think about it. We might have the next meeting. I, don't, I can't remember what the process deadlines are. Street out of 61. Did 
do the planning board Wednesday night, I think it is, meeting. The uh, New Sherman LLC is on the agenda mm -hmm. for something about the scenic road. They're looking for an exemption. Exemption, yeah, that's what it is. Scenic roads. Why? Because they want to tear the stone walls out and make driveways, probably, which they already have. So they're going before the planning board, I think, tomorrow night um, because of that. And I assume everyone else on Orange Street had to go before the board to, I had to go in Wallow Lake Road to find out where a place driveway placement would be best according to the highway department. But apparently they don't <laughs> feel they have to. And the scenic road sign is back up, up high. I took a loop around and there are um, lots marked for sale. Um, Lot one through one. Oh, I didn't see where. That's one through nine on Southwest Main. Signs up for sale, and ten and eleven on Orange Street where they've torn through the stone wall, and then eighteen, seventeen, and eighteen at the top of Perry Street near Southeast Main. Up here. So it's, it's, Orange, it's Orange Street that's the scenic two, oh, yeah. And so I'm thinking, okay, we skipped, let's see, we stopped at 11 and we jumped to 17. I'm thinking I should go down Orange Street a little farther than Perry and see what's going on where 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 are. So. Um, well, you can get on Zoom, the Zoom link too, and if we could all voice our. Yeah. Thoughts on. So Oak Street is also on the agenda because there's a hearing for tree removal on Oak Street as a scenic I road. Saw that. One of the trees was already removed because there was a mistake made. Plus, it was probably a safety hazard. But I'm with the utility. National Grid comes in and National Grid doesn't really care if you're a scenic road or not. And then you have, oh, all of a sudden this is a safety, and then if you're pouring water into the road and the gutters are always saturated, the tree roots are less stable, and it's just somebody on Oak Street cut down a street tree, and I still can't get confirmation about what the consequence was. And we need to beef up the scenic road status or it's ridiculous to even have it because mm -hmm. there's no it's teeth to it. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so I think we have to we have to go tomorrow and voice concern about this and they're going to be trying to keep everybody in their lane about well this is just this tree and not globally scenic roads but tough because it's absurd. Mm -hmm. People from Orange Street will be there, I'm sure, as well. They were at the last town meeting. <coughs> they were at the last town meeting. And that, um, what was it called? About the gravel removal, I think. So when there is something past the town meeting, it is, the article is then supposed to be sent to the Attorney General's office so that they give a final approval that is correct and meshes with all the, and there's basically a 90-day window. So that expired last month, or is about, or at the beginning of this month, it should have expired. But I've been told that the Attorney General asked for an extension, it's 90 more days. So we still don't know if that particular article passed or not. At the moratorium, 
didn't pass, too. With the um, Justin Picarello on Orange Street sent in, set that up to limit to five <coughs> houses. Yeah, but if it doesn't pass, it doesn't get moved to the Attorney General. It just, the ones that pass get moved to the Attorney right. General. So to that make got sure. flipped yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And are they going to go in there and like flatten every tree on every lot? They haven't already started. <laughs> and is there any way the town can say you can only cut down the trees you need to cut down? I mean, no, unless we pass a bylaw. It's so ugly. Yeah. It's just you take all that beautiful forest land and you just flatten it. Yeah, and then you turn it into lawn. Yeah. And then everybody can look right in at everybody else's house. And but lawn is a is basically turning it into a desert in this environment right. mm -hmm. because nothing else can grow. Mm -hmm. So we have to we would have to do another another bylaw change. Speaking of, I have to also find out cuz I know you all signed the petition but to get the conservation commission fee changed is also going before the board of selectmen so as a warrant article to get the Conservation Commission fee schedule changed for fines. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Make it more than twenty cents a day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Any other old business? <laughs> attend. Attend the meeting. Session. New business. Yeah. Um, they do have somebody now. He's not there yet for the Douglas State Forest Supervisor. His name is Joe Taylor. Don't know who he is. He'll be starting the first week of um, April. April. That's good. Got a lot of things to do. Okay. Now the next meeting usually is our second Tuesday, but I'm going to be oh, oh. on my way back from like eclipse, maybe. Maybe I'll get binged up in a way. <laughs> that explains it. So yeah, I think it's good for me. Thursday, the third Tuesday is okay? So the 16th, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so I'm going to recommend that we pass over executive session for now. Okay, because there's nothing in the room. No. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Works. So we'll be meeting Saturday. Correct. Maybe tomorrow night. <laughs> we have a we have a address for this place so I can find it. <coughs> it's, it's Mumford Street, so when you're right, going I up... I know Mumford Street, yeah. but we're on... It's 96... 92, 96, right. Right. It's The number that they give for it, it's kind of I far away it, yeah. from the, yeah. the parking area. There is a I, sign. I, I have it vaguely in my memory, mm -hmm. but... There's a bridge there. That the yeah. Boy Scouts made. No, there's yeah. a bridge on the street, street okay, that sure. the water okay. goes under. Mm -hmm. And so then just after is a little pull-in. Your property sign? Two. Okay. I'll find that on the right mm -hmm. half mile up there. So. Yep. Right. Just keep keep looking, keep an eye on what's going on in Orange Street and all and <coughs> it's hard to know what you can possibly do. I mean, I drive around and I'm like, there's a brook that crosses under there that isn't even on the map, you know, because it's such high water now. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I move we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Who seconded it? Seconded? Gordon. Gordon.